John Henry Newman, one of the most important intellectuals of his day, was born in London in 1801. The eldest of six children, as an adolescent he decided to dedicate his life to God. Having studied at Trinity College, Oxford, he was ordained an Anglican priest in 1824, later going on to become a leading academic of Oriel College. There he came into contact with the so-called High Church, the part of Anglicanism nearest to Catholicism. At the time, this was a minority group. In 1841, the University of Oxford and 42 Anglican bishops condemned one of his works for being too Catholic. Newman withdrew and began to undertake independent research into the contents of the faith. Three years later, he became a Catholic. In 1889, Pope Leo XIII appointed him a cardinal. Soon afterwards, at the age of 89, he died in Birmingham. At the end of his life, when he became a cardinal in Rome, uh, he gave this speech of acceptance in which he said, look, for the last few decades, for 30, 40, 50 years, I've been fighting the idea of liberalism in religion and um, the idea that one religion is as good as another and that it's just a matter of sentiment and you choose what, the one you like and uh, there is no true religion. Cardinal Newman is also highly appreciated by the Anglicans who celebrate his feast day on the 11th of August. According to his biographers, John Henry Newman is an important historical figure because he was able to provide answers to a world that was becoming progressively more secularized and because he was a pioneer of relations between faith and reason. Perhaps this is why one of his greatest admirers is Benedict XVI. Benedict is a Newman scholar. He's been studying Newman for several decades and has understood that this Newman could be a good vehicle to speak to people in the 21st century about the Catholic Church and about faith in general. Another curious aspect is the miracle that was presented to obtain the beatification. Everything began with a television program transmitted in the year 2000. At that time, Jack Sullivan at Boston suffered a serious ailment at the spinal column and was practically an invalid. Jack Sullivan was watching this program in Ona de Valutien on the 26th of June, the year 2000, and he asked, after hearing uh, this priest talk about Cardinal Newman, he asked, Cardinal Newman, please, can I be cured of my pain so that I can be ordained a deacon? And uh, he, he was relieved of his pain instantly. Now, late, later the pain returned, and there was another miracle about a year later when he was completely cured, uh, totally, permanently, and, and uh, instantaneously of the pain. According to the spokesman for the beatification of Newman, most of his miracles are spiritual and especially include the conversion of intellectuals. 